Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Sale with Mimi Shostly Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see the heart. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If you snooze, you do well. You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there. Subscribe. And make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? Acide heart. Hey, guys. We get this evening. Hmm. Like, I will always say, Wahala be like waiting, guys. Wahala be like bicycle. Hmm. Guys, um, today, not today, in fact, just as, as I'm speaking to you guys right now, the housemates are currently on their Aquafina tax. Yes, you know, um, during each season, one of the brand tax I always look forward to is Aquafina tax is among them because it actually brings out the housemates' emotional side. You know, I've, we've watched Aquafina tax from previous season and we've seen how interesting it is. Today's own is not going to be any different because they've actually did a first round of the tax. More to come. You know Biggie these days, all of his taxes in the midnight. I think probably we're going to be discussing about this tax by tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow because Biggie and his thinking, by this time they're yet to do the main tax. They've just done the first one on how much you know your partner. They just did some questions and whatever. We're going to discuss them tomorrow. Do not worry. But first off, let's talk about... <laughs> The drama that started off this task. So, you know, after the head of house went to the diary room, you know, to go, came out with a brief, revealed to the housemate that they're having Aquafina tax. So they had to go wear their merch, you know, and get ready. So when they got ready, Biggie asked them to go to the garden. They got to the garden. In their groups, you know, of course, we have resting points in the garden, at the garden there. Some people were sitting at the bed that looks like couch. So we're sitting at the other wooden seats. So they were just together, gisting, you know, no more gisting. Now, while they await the attacks, while they await Biggie's order. While each of the pers groups were discussing, camera was ensuing on different conversation. All of a sudden, the camera got ensued on, um, what was it called? We at, that's, at that round table there, we have um, Anita, Tofa, um, this beautiful girl, Victoria. We have Suj, we have Nelly, we have Femi, we have Ozzy. On this particular angle, they were just gisting, you know, and you know, chit chatting. And this conversation, when the camera ensued on them, it was Femi um, saying something. And when the camera ensued, they are talking about brokenness, right? I do not know the exact story um, that has been said by Nelly or whatever, but or Ozzy. But Femi was actually narrating something. And before you know it, Ozzy came off so rude and caught in. Guys, before I knew this is going to be to something else, when Ozzy caught that guy, I mean Femi, he just subdued his voice. My sister was even seeing this with me. I was like, uh-uh. Why would this boy? Because if there is one thing I as a person do not like in my life is somebody trying to subdue the other. No, I don't like it. See, I'm telling you, see, I'm this kind of person. That is why I love me, yeah? I don't care your age, oh. So far, you are not God who created me, right? I can never, never, ever be scared of you. Yes. So, and I am this person. I don't like when people who are older use that power to be like they have, they have the right to be always right. I hate to hear people who are older act like they cannot be corrected. And I have noticed this attribute from them by the way, twins. In as much as they are... As the time goes on, they are trying to be my favorite guys in the house. Like, I love them. Not favorite per se, I'm standing. No, of course, I don't do standing. I don't do standing. As the show goes by, I just look at the housemate. I gave something that I think should win. I would just vote for the person. Stanship thingy, I'm not in for it. But I love them. They are intelligent. They ooze maturity. They, like, they have this maturity with their age. They are not adults acting like kids. That is why I like them. 
But you see this aspect of subduing others, they want the words to end in their own mouths. That is one thing they always do. That is one thing I have observed about them. I don't know if you guys have also observed that, you know. So, I love it that, okay, so when um, Ozzy caught that boy short, you know Femina, he's so feminine and he's so calm, you know. So, immediately he said that, Femi went mute. His facial expression is given, I have not even said what I wanted to say or you misunderstood me. But guess what? He could not speak out. When I saw the way he caught in on that boy, I felt so bad already. I'm like, yo... Why would this boy cut this dude up? I'm like, oh, Toby. Uh, said, no, I said, Femi. I actually told my sister, I'm like, oh, this Femi guy is always letting people, you know, subdue him. Like, he let people talk and he would just, you know, keep mute just for peace to reign. He's so feminine. Like, he's so calm, you know. I never knew that thing was also getting to Nelly, the way Ozzy took that conversation. Before you know it, it's Nelly intrude. It's not like her, she's been an intruder, by the way, because they were having that conversation together. I, according to how it happened, it, it may seem as though Nelly has also told her own story, you know, before everything escalated. Because from Ozzy's mouth, he was like, he doesn't want to even relate to being poor or whatever. Maybe Nelly's story gave her poor and Femi's story, you know, before you know it. And then Nelly told him that he has been dragging this thing for a long while. He should just let it be. He should let it go. Guess what? Ozzy was still trying to argue, but like, leave it. I'm not, I'm just trying to say this. I'm just trying to say that. And guess what? He does not know that Nelly was prepared for this one, guys. Nelly did not even step back. She continued lamenting. You don't drag this thing tired. What is all of this? Thing? Yo, Ozzy don't see saying Nelly serious. Like, he has seen that Nelly is also not here to play. He just kept mute, knowing that Nelly is out to talk. So, but before he kept mute, he said something. He said, oh, is it because of your one head of house? Yo, that one now got to Nelly. She was like, what could you concern head of house and this thing? What is the business between head of house and this one right now? So why do you have to talk about head of house? Is the head of house paining you? Head of house has been your problem ever since I won. You know, guys, Nelly flipped it up. Like, Nelly did not fold though. She said, you see this time, I mean you. Oh, yeah, let's go there. Nelly started shouting, is head of house your problem? After, by the way, uh, twins, Ozzy said what he said. You know, he kept mute. Nelly started. Nelly started, oh, till now till tomorrow. Nelly was ranting. She was, she stood up. She clapped. She, yo, guys, you guys were thinking maybe only one in hand they have where they on their inside their head. You don't know that's been calm sometimes. This housemates, all of them are just been calm. Everybody get their own, and Nelly displayed hers today. And she was ranting. She was shouting that, please do not drag it this long. We are only having a proper conversation. Next thing you started dragging the thing, dragging the thing, even keeping um, Femi short. You know, when the um, Nelly was, at this point, Nelly was just talking all alone. Like, she has, she's just the only one talking. What um, Ozzy was doing is just nodding his head. I think he thought he's going to just shush her up. But knowing that she refused to shush her mouth, he just decided to, you know, keep mute. And he was nodding his head. And I noticed that head nodding is just pain. Like, oh, no, look at this girl. is disrespecting me. So after a while, when while Nelly was still talking, um, Anita even intruded. And Anita started telling um, Ozzy. When Ozzy told Nelly to behave herself, Anita was like, why would you tell her to behave yourself? You can say what you want to say. Don't tell her to behave herself. I'm like, yo, <laughs> this one is, if you come for one, you come for double and we're going to give it to you double, double. Because, um, Anita actually followed her. She was saying her own at the corner there saying, no, 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 don't tell her to behave. Don't do this. You don't have the right to say that, you know? And, this guy was just the mute that is OC, which is what he was supposed to do. Like, I was even expecting Anita should have kept mute and allow Nelly and Ozzy do their thing, right? Um, that your parent is having a disagreement with another person does not mean you must join in. But I think the reason behind this, um, Nelly's um, reaction was because of they have they have this beef inside beef for the body with twins because of what happened with the HOH thingy. First off, because of the said that, um, they did vote for them as head of house because. They wanted the aces to be there because of the aces. They've sorted that one out. But according to Nelly with her diary session today, she said they were still actually taking it, elongating it, that she overheard Ozzy trying to say some things about her because she did not choose the aces. I think that is where the everything aggravated from, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Um, well, it's okay uh, this boy is huge data took Nelly out to have conversation with her Nelly no grew Nelly said these people they are fond of wanting their yes to be yes they are fond of wanting to win the arguments that any argument that comes like this they would want to make sure they are the one that actually it ends in their mouth you understand when they say something let it just end in their mouth like that that is the, that's what they've always wanted and people have been giving it to them but at a point they need to be know that they need to know that 
they can also be wrong. And that is why me, I love the way Nelly came for Ozzy. I'm not going to lie. I love the way she actually reacted. Do you know why? Because I have also noticed that, that they just want it to always be from them. They always want to, oh yes, I said it and let it be like that. I, I just, this is my own decision. Let it be like that. You know, being old or being older than someone does not mean that you would always be right. By the way, we still have full of 40. So that full of 40, how are we going to know them? I'm just using it for an example. Yes, we have younger people who knows what the older ones do not know. Like I personally, growing up, I was just this gifted child. Who is that? I, I, I rolled with older people right from my childhood. Even while I was in school, during my secondary school, my teachers were my friend. Like currently, even till date, since ever since I finished school, my secondary school teachers are still my friend. I rolled with older people. And because I have the wisdom of, of an older person. And that is why I choose to study counseling during my university days. And I'm so happy that I've also helped people through that line too. So people... Some people can be young. It's just like me. I'm in my 30s. And then people who in, are in their 40s, in their 50s, think they cannot be corrected. We, like, you can be corrected. You can make mistakes. You can really make mistakes. Like, yo, come on. We can all make mistakes. Like, nobody is perfect. Our parents make mistakes. We correct them with love. People make mistakes. Our older ones make mistakes. You can be corrected. One of the reasons I love, love our first daughter, she is someone who is ready to learn and relearn sincerely one thing i would always give her kudos for so to me i don't like people always doing that oh 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 i over sabi come on what do you sabi person know they no finish show nobody they no finish so this particular one i love that um and it was her name nelly actually came out you know to you know put out those words there since I really not done that way anyways. And after everything, when they got inside, Femi went to speak to Ozzy. Ozzy was like, I cannot talk to somebody that disrespected me like that. We can coexist, but we don't have any relationship. All right, coming from Miss Part, I said Ozzy doesn't like Femi. Have you guys noticed any bands from them, like side bands? It's not like having issue. You know, when someone do not like you, you would really feel it. They would be throwing some bands on you. Like, you feel like, this person do not really bother me. You know, have you guys noticed it in the house? Because I have not noticed it. Chime says, it be like Femi don't get Oniduro. See how he kept quiet while the for his battle. I'm telling you, and I was like, I was happy because I was complaining. Why would this guy just, you know, subdue his voice? I love the, okay, I'm going to skip this one. Anita and a solid bay back up. She knows shout, but she's tender. You come for my girl, I go join you with English. To me, I feel like Anita wouldn't have even intruded at all. She should have just left it for her partner and then the other partner because OC did not even say a thing. And that is how it should be. How you go to tell adults where you enter house with to behave themselves? True, true. Now the ladies, him, they always try to intimidate. If you're too big, they your house. They do Abba for dear. <laughs> <laughs> Abba means elder ones for there. If you're too big, just do your elderly, elderly, whatever there. All right, uh, Barry Zion said, I respect Ozzy for keeping his calm and not reacting. I know it can be difficult to be calm when someone is talking at you nonstop, but he is keeping calm as a man. Yes, he actually did keep calm because of Nelly did not Nelly did not actually calm down when he was talking. If Nelly has relaxed because she, he was talking and Nelly was insisting and still talking her own too, then it wouldn't have happened that way. Nelly argument voice is too sweet now a and b voice. <laughs> I feel she actually, he actually folded because he noticed that this one don't enter rant and bounce. Because even when Nelly said, so the HOH is your problem. Why are you talking about HOH? He now said, why is HOH my problem when I actually voted you? Why I actually voted you? And Nelly was like, so if it's not a problem, why are you bringing HOH to this matter that has nothing to do with HOH? Hmm. Or more, he choked it. All right, I'm coming from Prudence for a reason. The full clip of the okay between Ozzy and Nelly, what I can say is that Ozzy is a bitter and authoritative person and Femi is a weak guy and Nelly is a brave lady for standing up for Femi by challenging Ozzy. I do, I don't know, I cannot call Femi weak. I think he's somebody that just doesn't want Wahala in this kind of situation, in a place where you have different people. So when he's talking, people talks, he just go down. This is the same thing Chizoba is complaining about, that this house, you know, you cannot have a voice. When you bring your voice, those people who have higher voice could just, you just have to let them talk. You get. 
anyways guys that was how it happened with um ozzy and um what's her name again nelly what do you think about that disagreement let me know in the comment section guys i cannot end this video like i just realized i did not gist you guys about the zimwe pair last night yo guys and today is almost over <laughs> Guys, the Z will do some Ipoke report last night. <laughs> do you want to know what Ipoke report is? Mm. Anyways, <laughs> ask your neighbor, please. Ask your neighbor. Like, yo, they did some Ipoke report. And guess what? The housemate, they did it inside the toilet. And the housemates heard it. It was trees at the locker room. They called others. The old, um, the body weight twins, Onyeka and Nikki were downstairs. They waved at them. Come, come, come. They ran upstairs to go listen to some nice music. <laughs> Omar, the sound, yo, that's why they could not even, like, yo, they were peeping, 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 tiptoeing and running back. And guess what? Even in the morning, after the one they did at night was not okay, in the morning, Onyeka, I was her name, sorry, Jai, was her name, Chinwe started, you know, using her hand to touch the long fat thing, guys. I'm like, yeah? And guess what? This guy's eye on Kariamo. Yo, guys, I'm like, yo, yo, yo. She was just rubbing that down below. Zion just removed her hand. I'm like, chinwe, chinwe. The one way you do for night, no, do you? People were like, now they see the reason why chinwe loves Zion. <laughs> she pinned here. <yeah. laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice right here and now to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always selling with me. Do not forget to tell me what you think in the comment section. Bye for now, babies.